Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another uh, Deadman Mode video. This is going to be video number three, but day number two. And in this video, the plans are very simple. I want to achieve level 99 attack, strength, and defense. That's gonna make us very strong. And then after that, we can work on range and magic. And we're gonna start it off by finishing our Steel Dragon task, which is very annoying, but it is what it is. Also, if you are new around here, please subscribe. We're almost at 100k. And with that being said, let's jump into the video. I would not recommend this task unless you really have to do it, even with 99 strength and 94 attack, I was struggling, but it is finally done, got some points, still not enough for skip, so I'll keep doing it, basically got two limbs, no D legs, no DFS or anything crazy, so yeah, let's keep slaying. I would really be a fan of a simple, nice task right now, and that'll do it, fire giants, however, it is not as safe as someone might imagine. It is exactly as I imagined when I went to bed, I knew for a fact that when I wake up, this is going to be what's gonna happen so i just need to keep my eyes open i think i can tank with nine brews that's why i'm probably just gonna do two trips and i'll still kind of afk it because yeah flicking everything not the most fun this guy's pvming we are chilling correct you don't have to drop a key if you had a sigil active when dying yeah that's what i asked him so i need that guardian relic badly 12 seconds later oh yes sigil of the guardian angel i was just this is so good you guys have no idea i was waiting for this sigil and then i was gonna do my quests what this sigil does is if you were to die you do not lose a life you only lose what you are wearing and you don't drop a bank key so that is so amazing because you grab whatever you need for your quest you go on with your quest with completely no fear the only thing you can lose is the sigil and he, obviously it has to be activated. Oh my god, this is perfect. I'm so happy I got that. 69. Your Twitch viewer literally gave me more this DMM turn than you gave me. Okay, what did you give me, Crescendo? Relax, my guy. See, I just missed 97 attack. Okay, two more levels to go, man. We are we are almost there. I'm actually excited to start training defense, so I maybe start feeling a little safer. But yeah, we'll take it. Not bad. Alright, we go. Black Drag. Black Dragon Sprite will do it. We're now finally starting to get enough points to where we can skip bad tasks, so pretty exciting. Come on, game. Hit me up with, like, Blood Velds, let's be honest. Call fights? I have a plan for call fights. I'm gonna activate my GA relic and I will go and do it. Uh, there is 33 people in the world, but I think we can do it. Oh, someone is cannoning this. You <laughs> scared him? Yeah, no shit, it's call fights. <laughs> 98 attack. Coming in in call fights. 11 left to go. Hopefully we don't die, but one more level to go. If we get a good task, that should be it, really. We survived. Very nice. All right, Blood Velts, let's go. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'll actually do it in a Taverly dungeon. I think I'll have better escape, but I'll get 70 agility first. Well, 65 agility. Uh, so let's start training it in Falador. I think it's going to be better overall. I'll need agility anyways. Agility is always useful. It's a little detour. It's going to take me a little bit of time, but it's going to be worth it. All right, let's see how long this takes. <laughs> Two hour 20 is the start. My agility level is 48 right now. We need to get it to 65 because I have the plus five boost anyways. So yeah, we'll see how this goes. Like if I go to Slayer Towel, I'll, I'll need agility anyways. So it's really good that I'm doing this now. There we go. That is 55 agility, meaning I can now go to Camelot and train my agility there till 65. Hey, that does it, I think. How much did that take me? Was it an hour? Was it a bit less than an hour? I don't remember where we started, but we got 65 so I can go on and continue with my Slayer adventures. Like, they boosted XP rate overnight for these. So these are, like, for, for all of them, but if it's 100 plus combat on Slayer, I should be seeing a lot more archaic emblems now. Plus, you can get like, some really good drops because they are high combat level, so looking forward to this task. Woo! Phone. Scared the crap out of me. Fuck. Some mal. The, the, <laughs> the glitch of design. Some mal. Um... I was on a phone with my sister and I got 99 attack. I forgot it was gonna happen. No, the clip is ruined. It is what it is, fellas. It is what it is. We take it. 99 attack and strength. The cape is streamed. We get prayer bonus out of it. Uh, and now it's just defense to 99 and then it's mage and range. So let's keep going. That is probably the best clip I've ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, the most fun training skill left. 99 defense. Let's start working on that one. Um, when I'm doing a more safe task, I'll also be alking at the same time. But here, I want to make sure I am ready to tank all the way to the pipe to get a teleport off. So I bring a little bit more food and I don't want to risk it too much. But yeah, this should take, if I'm getting, like this task is a bit slower because I don't have black mask and I don't have VLS. But realistically, if I'm getting like around 2 mil an hour, probably, I should be done in like 5-ish hours. So I think I can do this today if I get decent tasks. 
I think when I'm PKing, I'll go out and PK with a Guardian Angel Relic. So I don't lose a life if I were to die. So I just risk what I'm wearing. And then I have two, like, combat ones. Could be fun. <gasps> Sigil of the Escaping, ladies and gentlemen. What does it do? Send or increase to resist. Ah, it's the resist the bind spell. Not very useful, I'm afraid. We'll sell it for 10k on the Grand Exchange. Supply drop. Karambuans, 100. Madruns, a bunch of them. Very nice. Black Mask, just purchased on the Grand Exchange, I believe, for 450k. I will still finish this task here, because I only have 16 left, so I don't want to... Actually, my inventory is... I can go pick it up and then finish the task. Why not? Let's go do that. <gasps> nah! You, you can't make this up. I swear you can't make this up. You cannot. Nah. It is impossible every time I complain. It is like the worst thing you can get. The worst PvP weapon you can get. But like, really? Right at the same time as I'm just complaining? Oh, you don't. Nah. I don't believe it. I really don't. Yeah, I don't think I want to I'll just chuck it in the deposit box, man, honestly. Damn. It could be a VLS and it could be a Zuria staff and it could be throwing axes. But I, but I ain't gonna vest the spear, man. It is what it is. Okay, good task, good task, good task. Gargoyles. We can make some money. Let's do it, fuck it. Ooh, Mystic Rope Top. Okay, we'll take it. That's solid, actually. Currently enjoying a burger, and we got ourselves an Archaic Emblem Tier 5. They increase the drop chance on these, so we should be seeing more of them. But this is very, very good. A lot of potions in this bad boy. So I'm very happy I got that. That's a nice influx of money. Ooh, Granite Mole. Nice. Sick. Whoa. Back to back granite mall. Haha! <laughs> Yoink! What? Back to back to back granite mall? <laughs> Hello? Uh, give me another one. Ah, oh, sad. Lo look who's there. Yo, we got sea turtles and prayer potions. Yoink! Nah, you're trolling. Well, I fucked up. He should range me here and then melee me. He has the rampage relic. Yeah, this is really strong. Let's see how we go out of this one. It's gonna be really rough. One HP. Jesus. Shaking like a fucking dog. No way. No way. Nah. Nah, bro, I should be dead. I shouldn't be alive. There is no way. I wasn't paying any attention. My god, I died it so poorly as well. That was a reality check for sure, yeah. And I didn't even notice this Manta Ray right here. Alright, that jump scare was enough for me to decide, you know what? Let's get 70 range for some extra bonuses on the body armor. So I'm just doing it here in safe zone while also alking. This way I'm getting my range up, I'm getting my magic up, and I can enjoy my meal in complete peace. So that's what we're doing here, 20 range levels. Let's see how long it takes. I just got 600 nature runes from a level 21 guard. <laughs> Thanks, Jagex. Let's go. You are trolling. There is so many nature rules. Ayo, 60, 60 range. Upgrade to red dehyde. Now I can out blue dehyde. Very pog. Mika, have you heard of Sigil of the Dragon? Sigil of the Dragon? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. Dragging these nuts across your forehead, of course. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. 69. Yo, there it is. 70 range. We can now move on with Slayer, continue on getting our 99 defense. Uh, basically, we now get to wear full black dehyde, which is really, really good. Alright, solid. Now, let's return to Gargoyles, finish the unfinished business, and we're good to go. Made no! LOL! Look at this noob! Nonb! Subscribe to Mika RS on YouTube. There you go. Ooh, another Jamal. Uh, greater demons. Yeah, I'll go do that. I'll go do that. Fuck, fuck it, why not? So I decided to finally start using the prayer relic, the one that automatically scatters bones for me and gives me double XP. For every greater demon, I get 1.2k prayer XP. So I'll be getting this prayer up passively, basically, whilst I train Slayer and whilst I train defense. So it's gonna be very useful to have that sigil activated whenever I'm doing tasks that the drop bones, pretty much. 16 prayer potions and some blue dragon scales. Not a bad supply drop. I was actually running low on the prayer potions as well. 
well. So that just means I don't need to buy them. Very cool. Sigil of Garments. I swear I've gotten that one before. I, this might be the one that gives you all skilling outfits. Again, not really a sigil you want to have, especially since it doesn't even work with minnows at the moment. So it's basically completely useless. I believe they forgot to have an angler set work with minnows, or I don't really know exactly how it works, but it's pretty useless basically. We'll sell it for like 10k, or maybe we can even high alk it for 12, and hopefully we get better sigils in the future. Okay, fire giants are all right. All right, we're all the way up to 92 defense. I know I haven't updated you guys in a while, but it's just me doing Slayer tasks and getting no levels, really, because I'm almost max. Uh, but yeah, I am currently gaining about 2 million XP an hour because of all the downtime. Uh, but let's see, if I get a couple of good tasks in a row, it could really speed it up by a ton. So I'm going to put the tracker back up and let's see how much experience we'll be gaining. Got loads of points, so I can skip something that is bad. And that is bad, right? Yeah, I'm going to skip it, even though in the future I could use this point to grab trident tasks I really don't want to do those right now I know I would probably be fine doing them but there you go good aether demons that's where we're heading yet again 95 defense one-to-one -one combat 83 slayer already meaning that without a boost I could now kill the spiritual mages however I already did my trip there got four d boots obviously so don't think I plan on going there anytime soon I kind of want to get two more levels so I can do abyssal demons and then four more levels so I can do crack and those are my goals. It is a bit slower in the experience because I don't have the sigils that give me increased experience rate. But you know what? We're having fun along the way, getting nice player levels from the sigil and also getting basically fully maxed out. So honestly, can't complain. There it is, 96 defense, three more levels to go. Right, one million at a time. I just bought sigil of the Ruthless Ranger on my main account. It is a starting sigil, but it's a pretty useful one if I plan on training my range, which I do, obviously. So we'll see what we end up doing with this one. Maybe I just pass it on to a different account that I might need it on. But overall, good, good sigil. I like. I approve. I do not like the sound of worms that much. I know you can make a nice money out of them, but they're fairly annoying. I'm just gonna cancel them, honestly. Necreal. Ooh, that's a pretty dangerous task, actually. But I'm willing to try it, maybe. It's a really dangerous one, though. I need to maybe get one more agility level, so I have escape right next to it. That's what I'm gonna end up doing. Bought sigil of the elves for 300k. That is going to increase my agility training by 50%. Oh, we're getting attacked right now. All right. Unfortunately, Mika's microphone sounds like complete ass, but here you can see him tanking a PK. -er. Very cool. And of course, he escapes the PK. -er, and no, I'm not being paid to say this. Oh, there we go. Alright, we're done. 71 agility. Didn't take too long, honestly. And now I can do Necreals with a little bit more confidence that I'm just not gonna straight up die. We recently got another Archaic Emblem and, well, every time I'm tanking a PK, I'm losing a lot of supplies. So we're gonna cash it in and buy more supplies. Simple as that. Let's go ahead and do it. Hopefully not to die. And I will even leave some points still in in case if I wanna rebuild. This should be more than enough, honestly. That was really cool. All the way to 80 prayer by simply doing nothing. Just slaying. Very nice. Time to do more Slayer. Guess what? Cow fights is not something I'm currently interested in, but I mean, I kind of could maybe do it. I really want to get a task that's like nearby here and someone that maybe has like a superior version. Yeah, that's an alright one. Aberrant Spectres, a pretty rough one if I get hit by PKers, but look at this. I got agility now, so I can actually, I'm pretty sure at least, escape through this way. Don't tell me it's 72. Ah, I'm gonna go train agility for one more level. It's a solid escape, honestly, instead of running all the way around. Oh well, I AFK'd a bit too hard, went over 72 agility, but that should make it fairly safe to do, um, to do aberrant specters. I should be alright, honestly. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> He's legit stuck! <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, he's actually stuck. This is hilarious, the way it is. <laughs> Apparently got to 98 defense somehow, some way, at some point. Um, one more level to go to be fully maxed when it comes to combat. Somehow, some way, hit points is lacking behind. I think that is going to be mainly because of the, I guess, the quest rewards, right? And I guess I also need to train this range up. But yeah, very cool. We're almost maxed. Let's go. Here we go. It's the big guy again. Let's see if we get something good this time around. Oh man, I hope for another emblem, maybe. Maybe an imbued heart. Let's see what we get. 25k XP and. 600 blood runes and 53 sharks. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. Thank you. Well, next task could be the. Uh, never mind. Maybe it uh, can be cancelled. 
that's what it could be. All right, here we go. Necreal. Again, we're going back for the 99 defense, I guess. Pretty risky one. Let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to finish off the last 99. Very cool. With that 99, we now have 99 attack, strength, and defense. I have been extremely fortunate in this video to not have died. Uh, that 1 HP escape, very, very lucky. Now, some plans in the future for the future videos are going to be to hunt for some very rare deadman mode items. We're talking whips. We're talking tridents. Who knows? Maybe even some Cerberus. That's all coming in the future. That is not all. I'm also planning on creating a range alt account. It's already in the process. I'm working on it behind the scenes. And what I'm going to do on that account is I'm going to limit it to only range. And you may be wondering why would that be good? What I can then do is join up with my community on Discord and do stuff like God Wars in a large mass of people. I'm really looking forward to that and I'm really excited for it. That's why I'm building that specific account. And all of that is going to come in the future episodes. After we max this account, we're also gonna have to do some skilling um i might also do some pking depending but so much stuff i have planned for this dead mode and i'm actually really looking forward to it so if you guys are also excited make sure you're subscribed also feel free to like this video and i'll see you all again tomorrow with another upload have a good one everyone and bye bye